All right, time for next TikTok. Oh, right, this. Oh, first of all, I need to fix this scene. So this is, you might recognize this video. You guys can tell me if you recognize this video. Jungle in Malaysia. And this is peat swamp water, which is highly acidic and home to some very special fishes. You recognize that guy's voice in Malaysia? Here we have a trap. Yeah, this is this is me. This is my video that I posted on YouTube as a YouTube short. And here it is posted on TikTok, not to my account, with 50,000 likes and 1 million views. 1 million views. So someone took my video from my YouTube short, posted it on TikTok and got over a million views without crediting me whatsoever. I mean, all of the hashtags are just things related to it. The comments are similar to like the comments that were on my video, but you have to scroll down pretty far for someone to be like, hey, what the hell is this AVNJ? Yeah, if you scroll down far enough, people say it is they stole it. Yeah, so this is completely stolen content. So I, um, of course, DM'd the person who posted this and have gotten no response so far, but trust me, it will be taken down and or it I will be compensated entirely for the video because you can't just steal someone else's video and think that you get away with it. It's TikTok, they're just farming views to make money. Oh, absolutely. But luckily they have, uh, there are legal rights. And because TikTok wanted to uh, not get banned by the American government, they have complied with a lot of American laws, which means that it's actually more easy than usual to get copyright policy done properly on TikTok. So, we'll see about that. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Don't steal my content. Uh, if you had asked me to post it, I probably would have just asked for like a 50-50 revenue split. And you would have still gotten a shitload of money from posting it. You know, you get a million views. You still would have done really well. And you would have not been stealing intellectual property. So, if that is the kind of thing you want to do, just fucking ask me, bro. Don't. Why, why would you steal stuff? It's so dumb. Because now, now you're going to lose out big time. Anyways, cute fish. This is that fish in, um... Oh my god. I forget, it's the dude who has the fish friend, and he does stuff. Is the, the... I don't remember. He makes the fish food for the fish. There's a, the guy, this guy, the fish has a name, and it's like... It comes by all the time and they're friends and everything. There's been a bunch of articles on this. I think we've looked at the articles where like this guy has a long time fish friend. I did do a similar thing though. I had, I lived near a reservoir and in there, there were tons of sunfish and there was this one bluegill. It was only one day. I didn't come back to him. I didn't find him again, but there was this bluegill who, when I was swimming around underwater, I would flip a rock you know, just looking around while swimming underwater. And then I would swim away or whatever. And the bluegill would come over and eat what was ever under, uh, you know, underneath the rock. Because there's food, there's bugs and stuff under there. And he can't flip the rock himself. So then, as I started to do it more and more, he was following me around, feeding on every rock that I flipped over. And it got to the point where he stopped being scared of me because he was so eager to eat the things under the rock. And so he was just swimming like I would be right here with a rock right here and he'd be right here swimming like next to my face. He was swimming and, would, you know, I would lift a rock for him or hold it. I could literally lift a rock and hold it like this and he would come and peck off the stuff from it. Yeah, I literally formed a symbiotic relationship in real time. And then I left the reservoir never to see him again. Hopefully he's a big old bluegill nowadays, but the reality is he probably got fished out at some point because people love fishing reservoirs. Most fish would swim away from shark, but this fish swims swim right into shark. those razor sharp teeth, allowing it to AI introduce generated. you to the fascinating world of cleaner fish, also known as Dr. Fish. Cleaner fish are fish that have a special feeding strategy by providing a service to other species referred as clients by removing dead skin, active parasites, and infected tissue throughout the client. I've always said, being the one fish that doesn't go with this, if you're the one moray eel that eats cleaner fish, you are going to do so well. There is such an evolutionary pressure, I feel like, to be the one. But the problem is, if there's multiple, you ruin the entire symbiotic relationship that maintains your species. 
But if you're the only one, if you can manage to just be the one person doing it, you can, you can do body, really well. Even inside their mouths and gills. This is an example of cleaning symbiosis, which represents symbiosis, mutualism. Yeah, I think the voice is annoying because it's AI generated. This doesn't feel like a real person. And cooperative behavior and interaction that am I crazy or can you hear like the roboticness in it benefits both parties. There are a wide variety of cleaner fish, including rassies, chichlids. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. Rassies, cleaner fish are ras. Pied fish and gobs. They display cleaning behaviors across the Chilids. world in fresh brackish and salt water. Due to the high parasite density, the clients have cleaner fish are typically fish. I wonder if this entire thing is AI generated. If the footage, if the script was written by AI, the footage was found by AI, and the voice is generated by AI. This has 340,000 likes, probably millions upon millions of views, and it could have from start to finish completely by generated by AI. Either it's AI or a human who doesn't understand a single word she says. Could be someone who doesn't speak English and is just reading English words. Doing a good job, if so. It makes my stomach hurt when I see him drain a lake, and there's like a six-pound bass right there, and all these Jesus. fish are just dying. Invite me. And I ain't got to no pull. Find cool all stuff. right, guys, we just pulled this bass out of there. What? 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 Why did he present it like he was not at fault? Homie was like, "It makes me sick when I see them draining a lake." Who is the proverbial them? You're wearing a yellow. <laughs> you're wearing a high vis and a and a hat. Am I not to think that you are them in this situation? Who's draining the lake, Bill? Sure seems Certified like you're involved. I'm out of this drain pond. Sure seems like you're involved. I bought a green light to attract fish to my dock and it did not disappoint. The way that the green light works is that it attracts bugs that small fish eat and then the small fish attract big I fish that eat the small- I want to do this in freshwater. The, the green light thing. We had one, um... There was a dock I, when I stayed at a place in Long Island. The dock, it was like a fishing dock, so they had a nice light off of it. I don't think it was a green light. Because I, I guess that's probably meant to simulate algae and stuff and photosynthesis happening and so forth. So that so that um, fish come around to try and eat it and then you get bigger fish and so forth. Plugged it in. And yeah, it's on. It's not too Green bright light. right now, but I can guarantee you when that I was, When I on. saw it or like when I watched it at night, it was just silver sides. There was nothing but the tiny Atlantic silver sides swimming around it. In massive groups. Occasionally, I think there was some some bunker, but that's about it. None of the big fish came around to eat them at the time that I was watching. It's going to be nice and bright. And so the sun is starting to set right now, so it's time to plug her in. You guys are never going to what I just saw at the green makes light. Sense. First night, bro. First night. There's a massive tarpon. Oh. Yeah, see, it makes sense because you, you could attract predators to that large group of fish if they happen to find oh it. Oh my god. Maybe so you like imagine swim being at a... I don't know, a restaurant at night on a date or whatever, and you get to see the giant. Why does the green light attract fish? The The explanation that they give is that it attracts bugs for some reason, and then that attracts little fish, which attracts big fish. But I think it's probably more along the lines of, like, it attracts photosynthetic plankton, or it, it simulates photosynthetic plankton, because plankton glow at nighttime when they're, you know, photosynthesizing and such. And so that's a frequent thing that you see is fish going through all these plankton blooms to eat them. So my guess is that all the little fish think that they're swimming through a plankton bloom. So and then that that attracts large fish, I guess. It's pretty big. Oh, he just got something. Oh, that was insane. This guy's at least like, I don't know, he's probably like four feet. It's just really cool to see him outside my dock. When right is now. the next Avenger adventure? If so, where? When is the next Avenger adventure? Holy crap, I just did one. I did, I just released an Avian Journey Adventure like a week ago. But actually, I have another one filmed, so I have not edited it yet, but I do have another one filmed. I want to, this will probably be the last one. Do I spoil this now? I might spoil this now. I'll make this probably, I don't know. I'll spoil it now. We, I'm, I'm going to get a custom intro song, so instead of using like a different hype song every video, we're going to have a custom like intro music, like a theme song, basically. Avian J's Adventures theme song, custom made for me by a musician. So that's, you know, this will probably, this next coming one will be the last Avian J's Adventures without that. I'm also working on a documentary right now, but I'm not going to give any information on that. This video may contain disturbing content. Viewer discretion is advised. Holy shit, that really works. 
I shall just go in there. Was that a sea bass? Catfish. Oh, there's so many fish around this this trap. It's a shitty trap because no one's going in it other than the bass. Unless that's your intention is only to get the bass. Yeah, I'm working on a documentary. I've never really done like a full length documentary type thing before. And I don't really know how to do a lot of the aspects of it. Um, like I can produce a lot of the music and everything and like the filming. I know how to get a lot of good footage, but then putting the editing together and like creating a storyline that works for a long period of time without just being like, hey guys, Avian Jay's Adventures here is really difficult. Is that the whole video? Just cool fish getting trapped in the tank? Cool. We caught a fish! Come here! <laughs> Lake Michigan? Oh, did he catch a round right, goby? Put him back, okay? no. Yeah, he'll die. Can't Taylor, really see. Look we'll at me. Back. Come here. Is it alive? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Go put him back. <laughs> the kid caught a. They bet him five dollars he couldn't catch one with his bare hands. Caught a round goby with his bare hands. Well done. We should hire this kid to handle the invasive species. That's good comedic break. <laughs> Was recording my son go in through the tunnel. Is this one of those where a shark just chomp against the glass, attacks him? Those are my favorite videos when a kid's in like a little tunnel and then a shark bumps up against the glass and they freak out. Piranha. Oh. <laughs> Not piranha, but very cute. This thing was on the sand and it was yeah. dying. Is that so a sand lance? Dude, I've never seen a sand lance. We have two species of sand lance here in New Jersey, and I've never seen one. And I really want to. Like, I know they're saltwater fish. I don't spend much time in saltwater, so it makes sense that I haven't seen one because I'm mostly a freshwater person. But I live. I really think they're cool. I want to see more. Now I'm doing fish CPR. Ah! Good job. Your fish CPR worked. Keep it up. Oh no. Is this just another one of the, the Southeast Asian mud fishing techniques, but done in not Southeast Asia? Why is the guy wearing full... What are you doing? What, what, just draw the rest of the owl moment. Homie just made a pot. What, how are you checking if it's level after you've already done everything? What is going on? This is a fishing method? Bro, he's a beaver. He redirected this entire river. Wait, the entire river got redirected. This dude is a beaver. What is going on? So he created a hole in the river. He redirected an entire river to create a hole in it. So that some trout would get caught in it. Seriously? You could have just set up like a, a net. You could have just put a net across the main area of the thing and caught more. You could have left a, a baited trap and caught more. You could have sat there with a fishing rod and caught more. Homie redirected an entire river to catch a few trout. That's absurd. That's right, I'll be filling my entire house with thousands of gallons of water in some of the most insane ways possible. Starting with the sink. We're just gonna leave that running, let's go. I have an entire gaming room fit with a hidden entrance. Start turning on all the water in the house. Let's fill the shower. I'm putting it all the way on warm water so we're not cold. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. To start turning my house into a fish tank, we have this sink going, the shower's on, but it's still not filling that fast, so I think we should go Hope to the he's store. rich, that's a lot of money in water damages. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that the money for this house is not, not, <laughs> not of concern to him. I get everything we need. What are you doing? You really should not put fish in this. If you want to flood your own house, you do you. But you really should not put fish in a in a house flood. I mean, Jesus. While we were shopping, the water what? was going up very fast and started to cover- Their strategy for filling the house is they just left all of their sinks on? It looks like that dirty laundry is finally getting washed. I know the perfect thing we need for this house. Wow. They just left all their stuff? He's leaving all of his equipment and his clothes? 
never hated someone more than right now. Until they put fish in it, it's fine. I mean, they are causing hundreds of thousands of dollars in water damage to a home, but that is their own financial burden. Hopefully their parents aren't like away for their weekend and they're doing this because that would be funny, but yeah, otherwise it's their own oh, burden. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I guess the TV's ruined. Yeah, who needs it? Oh. We left the shower and the sink on the entire Please time. Please tell me you unplugged all of the electronics. Please tell me homie did not just throw a TV into the water while standing in that water. You could just straight up get electrocuted and die. Thousands of gallons of water is insane, but we wanted it to go faster. What? Okay, so they really don't care about the house. You just you burst the water I'm pipe? I'm trying to get hot water because it's freezing in here. I think I'm turning it off. Yeah, I just turned it off. There's more pipes we can break in the house, though. Let's start looking around the house to see what kind of damages we have to assess. What do you mean, what kind of damages? The house is under... What? <laughs> I what? What the, what the fuck? This is why nepotism is bad. People like this don't know how to use money. I mean, there is a chance that just by making videos like this, he has come into money on his own. We don't know. We don't know that he was grown up rich. Maybe he's just, the, you know, the next Mr. Beast of doing stupid shit. Well, at least we didn't get to see them put fish in it. Maybe they did, but we didn't get to see it, so it's fine. That's what I like to see. All right. Whoa.